Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for joining. Today we are going to talk about five amazing upgrades that you can do to your Onefinity to really up your game and really take the machine to the next level. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I recommend upgrading for your Onefinity is getting a larger screen. Get the largest screen that you think that you can realistically house in your environment and one that will make you most efficient and effective for using the Onefinity. I originally had the seven inch screen that came with the stock Onefinity and unfortunately it died a very early death. But that did allow me to upgrade my machine to this larger 15 inch touchscreen. Now, I will freely admit that 15 inches is rather large and maybe a little excessive, but it does work for my workflow and it actually helps me be a little bit more efficient and effective. This specific screen, which is a ViewSonic 15 inch touch screen, and I will leave links to it down below. It is one of the questions I get most frequently about my machine is the screen in the way that I've upgraded it. Uh, this screen allows me to enter information into the controller a lot more efficient and effectively than that tiny little seven inch screen would ever let me do. Now, uh, maybe I just have fatter fingers than most, but I did find using that seven inch screen very challenging. But with this screen, everything's kind of spread out. It's the same resolution as the seven inch screen, but everything is just bigger and it's easier to use. So if you are doing some sort of manual data entry, a larger screen is going to help you. Now the 10 inch screen that they offer now is a slightly larger version of the 7, seven inch obviously but uh, it's not quite as big as the 15 inch. Now this screen is kind of expensive. It can range anywhere from 250 to 300 dollars depending on uh, the price at the moment and its availability on Amazon but I have found it to work very well with the machine. It is very efficient and very effective for me and with this specific type of mounting I have I can move it around and adjust it as I see fit and it locks itself into a place and everything's good to go. So I would definitely recommend getting a larger screen if you can and making that upgrade and leap to a more real estate to interact with your machine. The next upgrade I recommend for the Onefinity is around the dust collection system, and that is creating some sort of boom for your dust hose. Now, if you're not already using dust collection and a dust shoe, I do recommend that. So if you have that dust shoe, I recommend having some sort of boom that keeps your hose up and out of the way and allows the machine to move freely without being inhibited by this hose. I created this specific system using maker plates, 245 maker plates and some conduit to create that sort of sweeping arc here, gets the hose up and out of the way. Alternatively, you can create some sort of boom system that comes out of the wall or hangs down from this shelf up here if you have a shelf like that. Something with a kind of elastic bungee cord or something like that that would give the, give the hose a little bit of spring. And then the last thing is uh, Peter from uh, Rowdy Roman on Etsy also has a dust boom system that works very well and is very highly regarded in the community. So I do recommend getting some sort of dust boom system. I will link to Peter's Etsy page down below and the parts that I use to create mine if you're interested in that. Highly recommend dust boom system. The next upgrade I recommend for the Onefinity is something that I've actually already talked about on this channel, but I wanted to bring it up here again. And that is these magnetic dust plates for your dust shoe. So if you have used the dust shoe for any length of time, it is possible that maybe you have hit this plate with your bit or maybe hit it with your router. So what these magnetic plates do is they give you that freedom of movement where you can snap the plate on that allows you to maybe hit it and it'll pop off and won't destroy your dust plate or your dust shoe. So again, I had a video about this already so I'm not gonna go in detail about this, but this is an excellent upgrade for your system that really takes your kind of dust extraction and your dust removal to the next level in my opinion, because then you can tailor the hole in your shoe here to the size of your bit, which is really important to get the most effective vacuum and the most effective dust removal from your machine. 
The next upgrade I would like to recommend for your Onefinity is this dust shoe holder, which I also got from John at Huntington Builds. And so it attaches very conveniently to the stepper motor here through one little bolt here, and then it allows your dust shoe to sit in this little uh, U device here and is readily accessible at all times. But more importantly, it allows you to keep track of your dust shoe. It is not laying on your work surface. It is not flopping around. So as you're moving your machine around, and you're jogging your machine, the dust shoe is in a location that's not going to interfere with any of your operations. And I think that is critically important. I have run over my dust shoe and my dust hose more times than I care to admit. It gets in the way and it's just there kind of being in an inconvenient location anytime you want to do something. So this upgrade is a relatively inexpensive device that really kind of ups your game and allows you to attack your work in the most efficient way without having to worry about obstacles to get in the way and maybe damage your machine or or cause some other inadvertent uh, accident to your work material or your work surface so highly recommend the dust shoe adapter The final area that I recommend upgrading for the Onefinity is the wire management system and very specifically providing strain relief and wire protection for some of the connection points from the controller to the machine. So in this specific example here, I do have some strain relief on the wires that connect to the Y and the Z gantry. And so I found this model on the Onefinity forums and I 3D printed it. So the wires just ride in a little indentation of the model here. You zip tie the wires to the model itself and then attach the model to the machine using the bolts that are already there. And so what that does is it protects the machine while it's moving Moving so that those connectors don't come loose or the wires in the pins of the connectors don't break. So instead of the movement of the wires being directly next to the connectors, they are out here where the wires are more flexible and less likely to break. And so as the machine moves, the wire can move along with it, but the movement is happening away from the connector, providing a degree of freedom and stability. Now, if the wires do come free or the connectors do come loose, the machine will start acting erratically. Some cases the machine won't move at all, or in other cases the machine might move in unpredictable ways, moving to different positions or different locations that it was not intended to go. So you want to make sure that your wires are nice and tight all the time and they are not jostled a lot while the machine is moving. The other area that is important to protect are the wires that come out of the front of the machine here. Now early on when I got the machine I did create a model here for these little end caps to protect those wires because they do stick out in the front. It is possible you might snag them or pull them for some reason either breaking the connector or uh, you know potentially removing the wires from the connector itself. So this model here I do I have posted it out on Thingiverse as well as the Perusa printer site so you can download this for free and print it if you like. There are folks on Etsy who do offer for some of these models uh, for a small fee that are already pre-printed um, or again you can just print it yourself however you like. So I do highly recommend you pick up some models to protect your wiring to make sure your machine is operating optimally and you don't have any long-term maintenance issues with the wiring of the machine. Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make and I hope you found it informative. So there's a lot of different upgrades you can do to your Onefinity, but I think these are some of the most important that you can get after really to up your game and make using the machine just a little bit more enjoyable. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this that become future videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired. The next upgrade I would recommend for the Onefinity really deals with your dust collection and your dust collection system. And that is having a dust boot with these magnetic plates. Now these wires don't move with the machine, they're just static, so uh, not zip tying them in place I think is sufficient, but having something covering them so that they're not hit or uh, you know, uh, so they're not hit.